my name is akhilesh in this video i will cover the second most useful formula in microsoft excel which is index match there are two separate functions when nested together will used in advanced mode when you have a command over the vlookup the first the first most valuable and useful formula across the globe in microsoft excel and the second one we are covering today when you have command over these two formula that means you have done 50 and 60% commands over the microsoft excel so stay tuned i will show you with three examples this is the data set i have you see the order id shift mode these are the attributes of this list and here is everything the same as per the data set number of columns and the number of records both are same but the data except order id we have not here by using index match formula i have to find all these values in this blank area so how will find up find out let's see first you have to write the index what will index do index will do the relative position from your selections then array array that means you data set that you have to select this data set selected first see there is a difference i will show you later on then comma now i have to give here the row number because row number gets highlighted but i am not giving directly the row number 1 2 3 uh, any number i use here the match write down the match now look up value which value you are going to match i am going to match this shift mode and you know row number i have to fix here i'm not fixing here column because as i move towards right the columns get moved on but row number which is number 2 is always get fixed so i am fixing the row number then look up array which data you want to get this ship mode customer id these attributes i want to get this from here now fix i am looking the exact match zero see here is the result but you see here the column order id is already written here and the same order id has been picked up again but i don't want to pick this order id i want from ship mode to region data should be picked up here so what should i do again writing again index then select to the array i left a column completely then again match 
this one gonna match fixing the row number then matching this record from the first record because our attributes of this list is in the first record now see from here to here it's get picked up if you want to drag then select the range and then drag everyone get rightly picked at the right place but now i want to show you a difference when i write here one in place of zero see only one column value is picked up that means first column this is your first column if i want to write here two then this should be picked up let's see this should be picked up if i want i write here three then this value get gets picked up so if you want separately for a particular column then you can do this way otherwise have zero here this is the first way of getting index match formula this is a advanced way and this is also under the advanced session but now i am covering this under this formula session now coming with this second example i have a list of three columns the product name the size of the product and the prices of this product against the size now i have to find out the price here where product is written here and which is from this column and size is also written here which is from this column you have to find here value from this column so index i have to find price then i have to select only the price column then i have to match first match this one is the first match and this one equal to this product is the product column select the range again this to be match and this size from the size column see hoodie exercise 25 Hudi exercise 25. If you want to change the formula, this will get changed automatically. I want to write T-shirt. T-shirt XL size is of 21. If you want to change the size L, then you can check T-shirt L. is of 23 so this is the way you can find out the value here now coming with the third example here i have seen the condition is in a single record but in this example i have two conditions this is 
as recorded by rows and next condition is by column. So I have two conditions in either arrangement, in rows and in column. Here all the conditions in rows. I have two conditions and have to pick the value basis on these two conditions. But the condition should be picked up from a single record. But here is, a, is in two ways, month, column wise, and color, your row wise. Now, same things I will do as what we did in the second example. But here the condition are the same to be picked up, but the arrangement of the records with matching the condition are in a different way. So start with index, only amount gets selected. Again, match. Which one you want to match? This one. And this one is the month name. Where is your month name? This is your month name. This should be exact match. Again, I have matched one condition. Now for the second match, I want to match this color also. From where color is here. <laughs> So I have to select this record, exact match. Now see, March, this is your March, blue, this is your blue color. What is the value? 400. If you want to show in September blue, then you can see the September and the blue is 357 and 357 is the value picked up here. So you have seen how to write index match in a simple way. Second, how to write with the multiple conditions when conditions should apply in a single row. And you have also seen how to write with the multiple condition, but the conditions value where, from where you have to pick up or matching the condition is of the either arrangement. That means either in row or column. So I have gone through the first simple way of using index match, second with multiple condition, but the conditions, conditions matching value should be in the first row. And the last one, the condition matching record in one record or in one column.